it smells so yummy up in here. I wish we had smell vision today <laughs> because Thanksgiving is right around the corner and whether your menu is 100% plant-based or maybe you're just looking to add a little healthy plant-based option to your traditional lineup, we've got some great ideas for you this morning. Uh, Whole Foods just released its latest cookbook and it includes 120 delicious and healthy plant-centered recipes. Uh, so we are diving right in with Whole Foods co-founder John Mackey. Also, we have a chef, uh, Chad Sarno, with us who created some of the recipes that you can find in these new cookbooks. So good morning to you, chef, you and good morning us, to Sita. you, good sir. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and let you get started because yep, my first perfect, question perfect. is for John. I was just saying uh, that here's a fun fact. Consumers under 40 have upped their plant-based intake by at least 52%. Why is that? I think partly it's hip and trendy, so the cool kids are eating that way. But, the cool kids are doing But it. also uh, <laughs> the evidence, the scientific evidence is, yeah. is showing that if you eat this way, you're going to be healthy and you're going to live longer. It's obviously better for the animals. Mm -hmm. It's also better for our environment. And you, better for our bodies and our exactly. minds. Uh, recent research has also pretty, showed that pretty connection. Pretty much better for everything. Um, so, Chef, what are you whipping up here? Let's talk about so some of the a, meals. Yeah, so we got a couple of the recipes from the book that we're highlighting. Okay. Uh, this first one over here, John, this is uh, this is uh, the gado gado, we call it. And there's Ooh. a bunch of recipes that are going up on the bar uh, at Whole Foods, which is very exciting. Gado gado is a traditional Indonesian sort of salad uh -huh. with potatoes and lots of fresh herbs and a Thai peanut sauce, which is really nice. So we load on the herbs, which is really nice. And, and so that's absolutely delicious. Nutritionists always tell me to eat the colors of the rainbow. And yes. that's exactly what yes, I see exactly. here with the vibrant veggies. Yeah, and then just, you just spoon Ooh. on a ton of the peanut sauce and it's just absolutely delicious. Okay, you say a ton Super. of the peanut sauce. I really yeah, like peanut yeah, sauce. Can yeah. I like lather oh, it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. completely. <laughs> And a lot of the recipes in the book you can actually use as base recipes for, for other applications Ooh, throughout, throughout, your, throughout nice. your week. So then we have a carrot lox, okay. which is, and if you want to just garnish that with the capers and the dill. Wow, so, so that is not tomato. No, and it's a, it's actually a cured carrot, so okay. it's salt cured, and with a little bit of almond cream cheese, we have some capers, a little bit of dill on there. Almond and then, cream cheese, that's yeah. that's different from your regular cream cheese, John? We can find yeah. that at Whole Foods? Yeah, yeah you can, of course, you can it's find delicious. all these ingredients. And then we have, uh, we have a baguette, which is a uh, with sort of a, a, an artichoke, hearts of palm sort of dip, kind of reminiscent of like a seafood dip. Um, so that has some roasted tomatoes and some basil if you want to finish garnishing that. Okay. And then we have uh, we have a, a white sauce that we're making and I've made mm -hmm. it out of basically some cashews, some uh, some cauliflower to really add that creaminess to Ooh, it. Ooh, so, you have to see this. So this so is cashews? Are these just regular cashews these are or were they raw, salted? Raw, ca raw cashews raw with cashews? some garlic and some cauliflower okay. with a bit, little bit of vegetable stock. And after that's cooked down, okay. then you blend it up. Oh, so it should look like... Yep. And then you oh, actually blend it oh, up wow. in here. So, uh, what I have here is I have some um, some onions and some cauliflower that was deglazed. Uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and add some pasta. This is whole wheat Ooh. pasta that's been cooked. And so while you continue to work your magic and lather that up in the sauce, um, John, tell me, if you want to incorporate some of these for your Thanksgiving meal, you guys actually... You can, right? You can find oh. these meals already ready to go. Absolutely. Uh, we'll have some of these at Whole Foods mm -hmm. on an ongoing basis. And it's, you, it's very easy to eat a fully Whole Foods plant-based diet for Thanksgiving. I, I've been doing it for 15 years, so I know you can do it. You know why I like that? Because I have nothing but meat eaters in my family. They're actually coming from Texas for Thanksgiving, so we can actually sample these before the big day, right? Exactly. Um, so tell me about the cookbook, uh, Chef. You guys released a cookbook, the first one, in 2002, and you just have continued to evolve. Yeah, well, this this cookbook was, was just released, and so we've really focused on 100% um, on whole food, 100% plant-based, and 100% delicious is really what the focus on with this book. And so we're really, you know, kind of sharing with people how easy it is to actually eat healthy. You know, that vegetables are so mm -hmm. much more than a side mm -hmm. dish. And you can have the cream sauce and those rich flavors around the holidays without reaching for that butter and, and that oil and that filling and that, as well. Uh, hey, speaking of sharing, sauce, can you so. give me some of this? I want to try some yeah, of this pasta. So this is, this uh, looks this great. Is, this is the cream sauce. I added some smoked mm. tofu in here and I also have some peas in here. So smoked if you wanted to try that out, and peas. I'm going to try, try that out. The sauce. Okay, before I let you go though, that Whole Foods cookbook, uh, where can we grab it? Where can we get it? You can get it at any Whole Foods market. They're all on sale right now at $15.95 off the $30 regular you price. You should put it right next to these meals and, that are ready to go. Also, you can also obviously get it at Amazon as well. Okay, I like I like the way you say that. We do a lot of really cheesy stories here on Good Day LA. Speaking of which, this one really grates on us. Oh yeah, we're envious of anyone who can name almost 30 cheeses in 30 seconds. Her remarkable accomplishment is coming up next. I'm going to try